Yaakov, Jacob, has built a large family. And now after more than three decades away, he's taking his wives and his children and he's heading back to the Holy Land. He knows he's going to meet up with his twin brother, Esau, whom when he last left him was in a murderous rage. And he's worried that Esau may still be furious with him and may try to kill him. So he's concerned if they fight, he may end up dying or he may end up killing his twin brother. So he takes all sorts of precautions, but then finally it's time. So he ferries his wives and his children across the river, but then he goes back alone. And while he's back there alone, he gets attacked by Esau's angel. They wrestle throughout the night. Yaakov prevails, but he's wounded. When we read this story, we can't help but wonder, why was he left there alone? Why did he go back himself over the river? The Talmud gives us the answer. He went back because he had forgotten some small jugs. Small jugs? That sounds inconsequential. Why wouldn't he have just left them behind or sent some servants to retrieve them? The Talmud continues. He went back because to the righteous, to tzaddikim, like Yaakov, they value their possessions more than their bodies. Now that is a bizarre statement if I've ever heard one. What is the Talmud suggesting? That the righteous are petty? that they're greedy, so why did he go back over that river alone for some worthless jugs? He was trying to teach us, and the Talmud's trying to teach us a deep psychological insight. To the extent that the righteous, that Sadiqim value their possessions more than their bodies, the reason is that they realize their bodies are a gift from God. They didn't work for them. Their possessions, they worked for. But what's so precious to them is not the blood, the sweat, the tears, the physical toil that they put into acquiring those possessions. It's the spiritual toil. Because the righteous, the Talmud tells us, never lift their hands in theft. They make sure that every dollar they earn is never earned through dishonesty, through deceit, through fraud, through even the appearance of impropriety. That's difficult and that's precious to them. And so that's why Yaakov goes back himself to get those jugs to teach us that, that if we are that careful, if we exercise self-restraint, self-control and discipline to make sure that every dollar we earn is earned honestly, it will be incredibly precious to us. Mm -hmm.